everyone. My name's Maggie. I'm here from Sutter's Fort State Historic Park. Talk to you a little bit about sailors in the 1840. Sailors were important here at the fort. They brought many different skills. Sutter viewed them as valuable employees. Think of sailing ships in the 1800s a lot like floating cities. They were on sea on a voyage for about six months and in order for these boats to be in the best condition possible and to last the whole voyage, they needed people on board who had a variety of skill sets. And this ranges from cooks, blacksmiths, carpenters, bakers, even sometimes farmers if there were livestock on board the ship. And these skills made sailors vital employees on the frontier, specifically here at Sutter's Fort. Sailors were responsible for bringing Sutter's goods manufactured here at the fort out to market to Yerba Buena, and then additionally bringing materials and supplies from Yerba Buena, or San Francisco as we call it today, here to Sutter's Fort. They were responsible for stowing the materials safely and hoisting barrels using things such as a block and tackle up onto their boats. Materials in items such as barrels would include things like cow hides, furs, bundles of wheat, hard tack, and other agricultural goods. And now that we talked about sailors and boats in the 1840s, I'm gonna pass you over to Ryan so you can learn how to make your own boat at home. Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm gonna walk you through how to make your paper boat. The only thing you'll need for this is a piece of paper and then eventually you wanna test your boat in a tub of water. All right, so you've got your sheet of paper. First step to creating your paper boat, you're gonna take your paper and fold it in half, hamburger style. Fold that, get a nice crease going. Next step, keep that fold pointed towards you, and you're gonna fold it in half one more time. Just like that. So now your paper should have a nice quadrant to it in each corner. So you're gonna take that paper, now you want the folded edge facing away from you. And you're gonna take each corner and fold it right into the center where you've made that crease. So it should look something like that. Next thing, you now have a couple flaps down here at the bottom. You're gonna take just one side, fold that all the way up to the edges of those triangles you made. Flip it over. You're gonna do the same thing. On this side, you're gonna have to line it up with the long piece you've made on the other side. Now from here, you're gonna wanna get rid of these little corner pieces. So flip it back over to the edge that has the space in between the triangles. You're gonna fold that corner onto the other side here. Same thing on the right. And you're just tucking away those extra corners. Flip it over. You're gonna take the corner from the one that hasn't been folded, fold that. Fold that over and then you're gonna lift it up by those corners. So you should have a piece of paper that looks like this. You have a flap, a crease. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those corners and you're gonna pinch it. You're gonna make that open up, push it together, so now that you've got a square. So with that square, you should have an edge, two of your edges, with a piece of paper kind of folded under there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take half, just half, fold that up to the top. Fold 
flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And just like before, you're going to pick it up by the corners, push it in. There you go. And at the top, you just pull apart each side. And there you have a paper bow. Might take a little fidgeting. There you go. There is your boat. So now that you've got your boat, we're gonna talk a little bit about what actually makes the boat float. And then we're gonna see if my boat actually will float. So we're gonna pass it over to Jocelyn. Hello, my name is Jocelyn, and I'll be explaining why a boat floats. The Archimedes principle states that if the weight of an object being placed in water is less than the weight of the water it displaces, or pushes aside, it will float. So what happens if you throw a pebble and a pencil into the water? Which one will sink and which one will float? The pebble will sink because it weighs more than the weight of the water it displaces or pushes aside. Well, the wooden pencil will float because it weighs less than the water it displaces or pushes aside, just like a boat. Thank you for watching the video. We're always happy to share a little bit about Sutter's Fort. Keep an eye out. We're going to continue to share videos just like this for activities you can do at home. Hopefully connect them to the fort so that when we do open, you can come and visit us if you have any questions or comments, you're welcome to comment on this video and we will answer as soon as we can. If you have ideas for other videos, feel free to share those as well and we will see you again soon.